Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can automate the testing process with Jenkins for a Django application. So let's begin. So first of all, we are going to see uh, how to how you can run tests automatically using Jenkins. So first of all, I'll show you my GitHub repository for my Django application, which is just a test Django repo right here. So it has some content here. So as you can see, this is the application or the main app of my Django and I have written the tests inside this test folder. So for standard tests file, you do name a test file, something like test and underscore and the name of a test, the name kind of test you are performing. So I just have, I've just named it test underscore views dot So I'll just show you the format for this file. So this is a basic test, a pretty basic test. It's the, it just hits the root URL of our Django server and then assert the output as 200. And then also we have a test form template content test, which just tests that I have the title tag inside my response from the root URL. So these are just two very basic tests I have run for Django application. So we are going to run this test. We are going to automate this test using Jenkins. First of all, I, I hope you guys know that to run the test for Django application and to run the command, which is python manage.py test. So that is enough for running the test inside your Django application. Basically, Django already supports testing, so that's why it is much simpler and also do not require any external libraries. All right, perfect. Moving forward, so now I'll set up the Jenkins file for my testing purposes. Before that, I'll set up a pipeline right here inside my Jenkins. So, so first of all, I, I will click on new item and then I'll just name my pipeline, just naming it testing pipe. Now I'll select the pipeline item type and then click on OK to create my pipeline. For the configuration, I will skip the general here. I will skip the triggers right here because I'm going to manually build this pipeline. And then for the pipeline source, I can select the pipeline script from SCM. The same can be Git and the repository URL is going to be this. So I'm just swapping this from here to here. For the branch, this is going to be main branch, and the path for our script is Jenkins file itself. All right. I click on save, and we have set up our Jenkins pipeline right here. Perfect. So now we'll edit the Jenkins file here. I have created a Jenkins file inside the root sys repo. So now I'll configure this Jenkins file according to our requirements, which is automating testing for our Django application. All right. So first of all, obviously, we need to define the pipeline block. So this is going to be pipeline. Inside the pipeline block, we can start with agent. I'm going to set the agent to any, and then I'm going to set some environment variables. With environment variables, I do not have as such any variables. I'll just set the name of the virtual environment. It's going to be V E and V for now. Moving forward, we can now click start building stages for our pipeline. The first stage we're going to have is first of all checking out to our GitHub repo, which is the prerequisite in any kind of Jenkins pipeline for uh, working with any kind of uh, source management or uh, version management. Moving forward, in this stage, we can have the steps. So for the steps block, I'm going to define the steps now. So for me, the steps is, a, is basically get branch main, and then the URL is going to be this itself. All right. So I have checked out of my GitHub repository. Now moving on, moving on to the next stage, which is going to be setting up my virtual environment because I need to run a Python script for actually running the test. So I need to have a virtual environment inside my Jenkins environment as well. So first of all, I'm going to write the setting of virtual environment. And for this stage, I'm going to have the steps listed here. All right, so for the steps, first of all, I'm going to have the bat command here. Since I'm using a Windows machine, I have to use bat or PowerShell. If you're using a Linux machine, you can use SH as well. All right, so for this, I'm going to run the command by a back Python, Python M, which is for making the virtual environment, the ENV, and in the name of our virtual environment, which is going to be inside the percentage signs, it's going to be the virtual, uh, it's going to be the environment variable, the ENV. All right, moving forward, I'm going to run the next command for us, which is going to be just upgrading the pip. You can also skip this command, but, but I just uh, run this command just in case. Uh, just to make, maintain the version of pip inside my Jenkins. So, so we are uh, running this command. You can run venv going inside the venv folder. Then I can go inside the scripts, and then I can go inside the Python directory, and then I can click on Python m pip install Python icon upgrade pip. That's one of the command for upgrading the pip inside our system. All right, moving forward, we can now install the requirements.txt, so that's going to be venv, python, python, scripts, 
out from slash slash fit. Uh, we're going to install the requirements in fit. So I'm going to go inside the fit, then install fnr require names so txt. All right, perfect. So we have completed the step, this stage as well, which is setting up the working environments and requirement installation as well. All right, so now we can execute the final stage, which is simply running the tests inside our Django application. So I'm going to name the stage as run the tests. And for this, I'm going to define some steps here. For the steps, uh, there's just one step for us right now because we're going to run the, uh, we're going to run the test using a simple command, which is python minus dot py test. So I'm going to run this command using my host environment, venv slash slash scripts slash slash python manage dot py and then test. So that's going to run all the tests inside my Django application, which I have written inside my application's tests folder. All right, so I'm going to commit the changes from here now, and now I'm going to try to build my Jenkins pipeline from my Jenkins server. So click on build now here, and let's wait for this to get built here. So I'm going to look on for the console output. As you can see, it is on the first stage. Let's check out. So it is checking out to my internal repository. Now it is setting up the virtual environment, and as you can see, it, it is executing the command Python make virtual environment. So it is building a virtual environment right now. So let's wait for this to move forward. All right, so it has built a most environment now, and now it is upgrading the pip for us. After upgrading pip, it should be able to download the requirements. So let's wait for that as well. All right, so it has upgraded the pip now. Now let's wait for it to download the requirements for us. Uh, there were pretty basic requirements in this. I think I had just put Django for it now. So it should be pretty quick for us right now. After installing the requirements, it should start running those tests inside of the application because we have the stage of testing here. So yeah, as you can see, it has done the test and it also says that it has run, run two tests in 0 0.024 seconds. And also it says the result, which is okay right here. It's trying to test the database, which, which it created for testing purposes. And that's good. I think the two tests, which were there for my root URL has been executed and also ran successfully because it says okay for both of them. So perfect. So we have automated the testing process using our Jenkins pipeline here. And that's how you can automate the process of testing inside a Django application using Jenkins as a CSEP tool. All right, guys, so that's it for the video and thanks for watching.